I understand bump animation, but bro, these guys are getting bump animations based on the game and giving it to them. That's the issue I have right now with the ones. Even when you go play 2v2s, 3v3s, people are getting fake chase downs. Your dude is slowing down, going to the rim, while the defensive player is still going at his same speed. Bro, come on. Some of this stuff, you can see it like that don't make sense. Why am I slowing down so this man can catch up to me, bro? I, I just blew past this dude with my creativity. You know what I'm saying? It's no way you should be able to catch up to me. Then you give me them weak animation, so oh, it's a block now. Because I'm doing some type of weird ass layup. Then probably missing the layup at that. That might be off. Good shot. Look at that. Look at that. You see how he went downward instead of going to the rim? I mean, I know y'all see it. It just irritating, bro. That's green. Come on. It's irritating, bro. I want my dude to attack the rim, not attack the fucking out of bounds. I fucked up. Uh. Oh, he missed that. Look at this. Do you see what I'm talking about, bro? I had a clear lane to the paint. But that fake animation that they gave him allowed him to put me in that. That shit bogus, bruh. That shit bogus, man. That shit bogus, bruh. It fake ass defense shit, man. Don't even attempt this fucking bag out and restart. That's green. Uh. They gotta restart this whole fucking dribble move. Oh yeah, I know you seen it then. I know you see it. Who in here need to need me to point out the map? Did you did you not see it right there? Wide open dunk. But I gotta go out of bounds to fucking get on the rim. This shit is ridiculous, bro. That shit is ridiculous, bro. I break him. I got a wide open dunk, but I can't go dunk it. Bro, that's bogus. That's fucking weak, man. That was a perfect example right there. Just in case you ain't seen it before. No, y'all the same, but I still want to point it out. God damn it. This is stupid, man. <laughs> it just happened to him. Y'all see how he beat me? But the game allowed me to catch up. <laughs> Did y'all just see how he beat me right there? But the game allowed me to catch up. <laughs> Shit, wow. That might be green. I'm telling you, man, 2K put something in the system to enhance the defense. And that's what I'm saying. People thinking, oh, the game got defense. The game don't got defense. The game is forcing you to have defense. There's not an individual defense. It's out here. People out here getting their hand held. That's green. Come on. People out here getting their hand held on defense. That's what I said. Got to have thumb, man. You got to have 2K, man. You got to have 2K, bro. 2K is out here holding holding your whole controller for you. I wish I had my setup so I can clip this shit and go back and play it. 
I'm gonna get my set up. Let me see, what is today? Wednesday? I gotta work tomorrow. I ain't gonna be a day. I gotta get it either Monday, Monday or Tuesday. A lot of people out there are scared to have a credit card because they were told a bunch of false negative information in regards to credit. People don't want to start building credit or have any credit cards because they heard stories where some people were irresponsible with their credit and they just started accumulating a lot of credit card debt. And this is true, so I can understand why some of you might not want anything to do with credit, but the reality is at some point in your life, you may need it. And some people out there might tell you you won't ever need credit, but let me tell you, this is a huge mistake. Having good credit could get you very far in life if you're moving the right way and you're making the right choices. So in this video, I kind of just want to go over three ways that you can start building credit and why you should even start building credit in the first place. If you're already subscribed, then welcome back. But if you guys are new to my channel, my name is Ish Sandiford and you are now watching Just Money where we talk about financial related topics such as personal and business credit, real estate, and other financial related topics. So if that's something you're into, then you're probably going to want to consider subscribing. But without further ado, let's get into today's video. So before I start talking about the main three different ways that you can start building credit, let's talk about why you should even start building your credit in the first place. So one of the reasons why you want to start building your credit in the first place is so that way you can start getting approved for loans. And when I say loans, I mean stuff like personal loans, auto loans, mortgage loans, etc. You want to get approved for auto loans and mortgage loans because most people tend to finance these items for a reason. A lot of people tend to do this because they like to leverage other people's money so that way other people's money can make them money. That or they just don't want to pay the full thing up front which is understandable because that is a lot of money if you're trying to buy a home or car. It makes sense for people to do this because most people out there don't have $400,000 cash or even a million dollars cash just to drop on a home up front. Majority of people out there even rich people tend to still get mortgage loans to purchase a home or even a property and i won't be talking about too much about that right now in this video because i will be talking about how to leverage loans to buy property in a different video so stay tuned if you want to see that video but anyways as far as personal loans if you don't have the money up front to pay for something just yet then you can definitely leverage this personal loan as well if you have good credit maybe you want to get married soon and you need some kind of funding for a wedding or even if you want to take a family vacation and you need funding for that as well a personal loan is perfect to get if you don't have the money up front but you know you will later so that way you can fund whatever needs to be funded and also let me quickly mention to you that you'll receive better interest rates if you have good credit because if you have bad credit lenders are going to look at you like you're a risky person and you don't take care of business versus if you have good credit this shows you have a very good history and that you're a very responsible credible person so not only will they give you a loan but they'll give you a better rate on that loan as well so this is why it's very important to start building credit guys another reason you want to start building credit though is so that way you can start getting approved for credit cards a lot of people are scared of credit cards but credit cards is like literally the best thing that could ever happen to your life. In fact, you're not really ever supposed to use your debit card for purchases. You always want to use your credit card on 95% of the purchases that you're making. And the reason for this being is because debit cards are very vulnerable to theft. To whereas credit cards, you are offered fraud protection. If somebody gets a hold of your debit card and they have your PIN, then you're going to have a very hard time getting your money back. Either that or you won't get your money back at all. Credit cards, on the other hand, offer you protection on your money just in case any fraudulent transactions are made. And not only will you get your money back, but it's going to come with other benefits as well such as travel insurance and return protection and of course a few other things that i'm not going to dive too much into in this video one more thing though i will say about credit cards is that they offer reward points and with these reward points you can get free travel cash back gift cards statement credit etc having a regular debit card you cannot do this i've made plenty of videos on credit cards on my youtube channel so if you guys are interested in watching any of that feel free to browse my channel or hit the link in the description below but the point i'm trying to make to you guys is that you people actually need credit in this world if you ever want to live on your own and get an apartment one day or even buy a house one day then you need credit for that i don't care what nobody says or even if you're traveling and you want access to those really nice lounges at the airport like the centurion lounge then you need a specific credit card for that the platinum american express credit card to be exact or even if you're buying or renting something sometimes they require you to leave a credit card on file how the world are you going to leave a credit card on file if you don't even have one but anyways i think you guys get the gist of it now so let me just go over some ways that you can start building your credit now now the number one way and the most famous way to start building your credit is to get something called a secured credit card. A secured credit card looks and acts just like a regular credit card, but the only difference is since you don't have any credit established, then you have to put an initial security deposit down. And that same initial security deposit that you put down then becomes your credit limit amount that you can spend. So for example, if I put an initial security deposit of $300, then that same $300 then becomes your credit limit amount. So you would be able to use this secured credit card just like a regular credit card, aka a unsecured credit card. A unsecured credit card is pretty much a regular 
your credit card to where you don't have to put in initial security deposit because you already have credit established. The unsecured credit card is what you get after you graduate from the secure credit card. And you'll even get your initial security deposit back. But the way you graduate from a secure credit card is by having a better credit score. You get a better credit score by using your secure credit card and making on-time payments on it for about six to seven months. And each month that you make an on-time payment on this secure credit card, your credit score will start to rise. And once you build up your credit score enough, three things are gonna happen. Number one, you'll finally graduate to an unsecured credit card and then you'll get your deposit back. Number two, you're gonna have a higher and better credit score now. And number three, you'll actually get low rates and then you'll start getting approved for things. If you guys need recommendations on what secure credit cards to apply for out there, then I recommend getting the Discover is Secured credit card. Now, if you guys bank with Navy Federal Credit Union, then I recommend getting the N Rewards Secure credit card. I made videos on both of these secure credit cards and plenty of other secure credit cards on my channel. So if you guys wanna watch that, then feel free to browse my channel or hit the link in the description below. And also, if you guys are finding any of this information helpful, if you guys can do me a favor and hit the like button, I would truly appreciate that because it really helps me out a lot. But anyways, that was one way you could start building your credit score up. Now, if you don't wanna get a secure credit card, another way to start building up your credit score is by getting added as an authorized user. By getting added as an authorized user on somebody's credit card account that has good history, their good history, then becomes your history as well now. But just make sure whoever's adding you on their credit card account has good credit, otherwise this will not work and this can actually damage your credit score more than what it already is. And by the way, this method works best if the primary card user has a long history of on-time payments and they have a high credit limit. Just make sure though, before you get added as an authorized user, make sure that the credit card company reports all that to the credit bureaus. Because some credit card companies will not do this and this will just be a waste of your effort. But this can be a really good method to boost your credit score really fast in a short amount of time. Now the final way you can start building your credit is by getting some kind of installment loan. An installment loan is pretty much anything to where you're making reoccurring payments every month, such as a student loan, auto loan, mortgage loan, personal loan, etc. Installment loans can help improve your credit score by adding on-time payment history to your credit report. An on-time payment history accounts for about 35% of your overall credit score. So that's a big chunk of your credit score going up just for making on-time payments. And this also helps your credit mix as well because there are two types of credit out there. One is going to be called installment credit and the other is going to be called revolving credit. The credit bureaus like to see how well you are with juggling different types of credit. So if you have a mix of both, then this will boost your credit score. I made a video not so long ago on how to boost your credit score by 100 points really fast and I highly recommend that you guys watch that video. I talk about all the different categories that make up your credit score so that way you guys know how to boost your credit score in every aspect. Highly recommend you guys watch that video. But that's pretty much it for today's video guys. I hope you guys found value in any of this information. Let me know in the comments below why do you want to start building up your credit score? I would like to know. And also really quick since you guys have been asking I now offer one on one consultations. The link will always be in the description below. But if you guys made it to the end of the video then I truly do appreciate you guys. We just hit 28,000 subscribers at the time of this recording so I honestly can't believe it. It's, we're so close to 30k and I just truly appreciate everybody who watches the videos like it really means a lot to me so let's try to push for 30k but if you guys haven't yet already don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet already and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that way you guys get notified every time I ish post a new video and again we talk about personal and business credit real estate and other financial related topics so that's something you're into then you're probably gonna want to consider subscribing we talk about how to get high limits on your guys credit cards talk about how to boost your personal credit how to obtain business credit we talk about real estate we talk about mortgage loan programs we talk about all that so this is your one step Stop shop. And for those that don't know, I'm a licensed real estate agent, a realtor, and I'm also a licensed mortgage loan originator as well. So if you guys have any questions in regards to real estate, all my information will always be in the description below. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Slow mo city, slow. Oh yeah, that's a dump. What? All that work. Okay, that's green. Roy, you get it, Roy. Good jump. All right, seventeen twenty. All right, Roy, you gonna get your chance to end it. Oh. It <laughs> Oh no, bro! It, I'm definitely, <laughs> I'm definitely off. Of, <laughs> yeah, that's tough. Okay, man, uh, we gonna fuck around, blues. Okay, oh, he went out of line. No way, a sinner did that, bro. A sinner.
It don't get no better than that. All right, put him on the. Okay. <laughs> hey, let's go, man. Get runs. Appreciate y'all for hooping, man. My bad on the L's. I got to get the shooting right, man. I mean, I got to get the dribbling right. We're going to work on it, though. I'll be back on later tonight, man. So if y'all pop out, appreciate it. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank y'all for the support, man. All right, chat. He said, need them young fingers. <laughs> nah, them old fingers definitely need breaks, bruh. <laughs> uh.